time for Tuesday's hour number two with Korean on me on hashtag Daily K with your host Peter Bind. If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K dramas, movies, and even songs on. Oh, welcome to Korea with Korean on me. Every week at this time, we'll be learning Korean through dramas, movies, and songs that are popular here and across the world to fans of the Korean language. She's an undoubted Hallyu star, bigger than E Hyori, E Min Ho combined. <laughs> It's Moon So Chun in Thank the studio. Thank you, boom, boom, boom. Yay! How are you doing, So <laughs> Chun? <laughs> I'm doing actually great, but I'm a little sleepy for some reason. Oh, did you go to bed late? Wake up early? I didn't, but. But these days, um, I think it's the food. Oh. I think my body is keep telling me um, stop eating too much. Uh-huh. <laughs> And you know, like that feeling when you eat a lot, then mm-hmm. you feel heavy. But I'm not even eating that much. But oh. my body is fa- feeling that way. So maybe I need to eat like really less food. Oh, okay. Maybe. Are you binging these days on like some guilty snacks or Actually, eating not, very healthily? Not really. I have been not eating very healthy, but I uh-huh. also have not been eating like too binging. So okay. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's the increase in temperatures. Like today is going to get, I think, to 33 mm. or 34 degrees. Maybe. When, when I sleep and it's hot at night, even if I sleep fairly well, when I wake up in the morning, it's just like too warm. Oh. I don't feel fresh or anything. Yeah, I think that may be true because I keep waking up because it's a little too hot or yes. like a mosquito sound oh. or something like that. Oh, so. I hate it when mosquitoes wake me up. Mosquito net is a good solution, but it looks a bit horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's not not. <laughs> So lovely. Uh, Jeffrey has seen that I've got the matching pocket to your dress. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, we do have matching clothes. I cut it off when s o h y u n wasn't looking last time she wore that. And now I've stuck it onto my T-shirt. Good spot, Jeffrey. <laughs> Let's get on to the three phrases we're going to concentrate on today. Right. So the first phrase is, 미안한데 나 자꾸 예민해져. 미안한데 나 자꾸 예민해져. Right, and this means I'm sorry, but I'm keep getting sensitive. Mm, I'm sorry, but I keep getting sensitive, keep getting touchy. You'll see where this fits in in our role play. These are one of the three phrases that are coming up. Mm-hmm. Sentence number two. I'm really confused with this one. 한치 걸러 두치면 다 아는 사이야. 한치 걸러 두치면 다 아는 사이야. Right, so probably you're confused with the 치 because yes. you don't really use don't this a lot. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, this basically means, uh, you know, like across just one or two legs and you'll know everyone. Ah, so basically mm-hmm. everyone knows everyone if you go, what's that expression in English? It's like six degrees of separation. Mm. That's the theory that everyone in the world knows each other by just six people. If you go wow. six people on average, uh-huh. you should get to anyone else in the world yeah that's really cool that's like an official kind of like a research on average they've Whoa. said that that could be true yeah you've got to get to someone who's pretty well connected somewhere along that mm-hmm. line uh, which is interesting so this is talking about maybe with two degrees of separation everyone knows each other right and then phrase three 내가 아까부터 몇 번이나 말해. 내가 아까부터 몇 번이나 말해. Right. I have been keep saying this all along from ever since. Something like that. Like, how many times should I keep have to tell you? Yeah, you may be getting annoyed by having to repeat yourself mm-hmm. many times since a little while before. Okie dokie. We are going to get your voice clips for those three phrases. And we've written them up right now on YouTube. And they're even Romanized. So if you can't read Hangul... Still no excuses. You'll be able to pronounce it by reading the English spellings. Not perfect, mm-hmm. but not bad at all. And once again, via Kakao Talk, send them in. Let's set the scene before we get to our acting, s o h a n Okay, so I'm going to act s o n a And s o n a recently got a divorce from her husband. Mm-hmm. And she came to Jeju Island uh, to build a house there and to live with her son. Um, and she's communicating with this guy who's peter is going to ask is 
riding a horse. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in this scene, it seems like Dong Seok is the only one who is excited. Yeah, they've come to a ranch and he wants her to ride a horse, but she's not really up for it. You're a spoil sport today, Korean Unni. Get excited about horse. You like horses, don't you? Yeah, actually, I love horses. This is going to be difficult for you to play because she's very <laughs> indifferent to horses I, I in know, this scene. I know, I was looking at the scene and thinking, oh wow, she has a really different personality. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to play the character Dong Sok. These character names are hints to the drama as well. Try and guess what that is. And we'll take it away. I'm worried about the trial the day after tomorrow, and I think I'll miss the boat time I have to go see you, Yol. D- do you know about Jeju Gwendang culture? Han Jigolo to Chimion Ta Nunsai? This is a ranch run by a friend of mine. Are you sure you don't want to ride a horse? Let's just go. I'll miss the boat. It takes an hour and a half to get to Jeju City according to the navigation. Exactly. It only takes an hour and a half. We have three hours left. The boarding process is complicated, okay? We'll never be late. And if we'd ridden a horse while we were bickering, you would have already ridden it. I don't want to ride it. No, you should want to ride it. I don't want to. Just get in the car. If I have to ride a horse, I'd rather build more of the house with Yarl. And even though I wanted to go alone by plane, you asked me to go with you by boat. Listen, your baby will like it if there's a picture of mum riding a horse. My child will be fine with a toy horse. Let's go. We're going to miss the boat. (sighs) All right. But since I'm already on the horse, I'll go around and come back. Film me riding the horse with your phone and then send it to me later. (sighs) All right. Go. Racha. Hoi. Hoi. How can you do that? Your horse sound. We, we had a little baby horse. We brought it in oh from God. Jeju Island. Our special guests say thank you to, uh, I don't know what's a good horse name, actually. No, that's really easy. I learned how to do a horse sound, right? If you, you just let your, let your lips like just go all, don't, don't blow the air out. Mm-hmm. Blow it into the side of your cheek a little bit and then just flap. So... <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> You're from Jeju, like your parents. So right. you should have horse in your veins. Horses are famous from oh, okay. Jeju, aren't they? I'll try. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I like it. Lovely stuff. Sorry, guys, for if you were <laughs> listening through your headphones. Yeah, that's not a lovely sound, is it? It sounds like we're spitting all over you. <laughs> Uh, we do have another hint that has been given by Sherry Russell. Uh, That's true. Pyonghan and Mina, those are the actor names, the real names, without their surnames mm-hmm. attached. It kind of seems like Sherry is very friendly with these people, just calling <laughs> them by their first names. Uh, guess what the drama is. And yeah, in this scene, he's on the horse. It's a pretty cool scene, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's really not reading her mood at all, That's it seems. That's true. And it was difficult. <laughs> for me because I'm like Dongsok. Like, yeah, I want to ride the horse, but mm. I have to act <laughs> indifferent. That's how professional you are. Okay, <laughs> let's get to today's quiz question, which I have not read in advance, so I've got to translate it on the fly. Uh, this is what they've got to do to get onto the boat, right? Um, so... What is he asking her to do before they can get on the boat? Number one, to take a photo with the horse, and mm-hmm. number two, giving a carrot to the horse. <laughs> Kidoki. So this one, I think, actually came out in our role play. It so it's did. a bit easier this yeah, week. Yeah, if you listen carefully, you would know the answer. Mm-hmm. All right. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Sogipu City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Arirang Radio. 
We're back for part two of Welcome to Korea with Korean Unni in the studio doing our drama. Uh, we've done the acting, that's out the way. Time to learn Korean in a bigger way. But we've got some guesses for the drama or movie. I'm trying to see who was first. I think it's Benny from the Philippines who said... Our blues with a question mark, and then Mama Wolf Meg, Stacy Wiley, all getting on board with that. And in Korean, I guess, Udi Dure Blues. Are they right? Yes, Benny and Marilyn Wells, Sherry, everyone, you guys are right. Today's drama is Our Blues in Korean. It's called Udi Dure Blues. Well done indeed. Only recently finished, right, the beginning of this month, That's I think. That's true. You guys know my parents are both from Jeju, and I have my cousins and grandparents and everyone in Jeju. Wow. And my parents really love this drama. Usually when they see uh, actors acting in Jeju dialect, they mm-hmm. don't like it, and they say it's really <laughs> awkward. Uh-huh. Uh, but this drama... Drama, even though they said, of course, it's not 100% perfect, sure. but it was pretty close to realness. And Ooh. this drama covers, you know, like lots of stories of uh, people who are living in Jeju, sure. like in an omniverse type of way. Mm. And they really liked it because it was very heartwarming and you can see other people's lives and in a very compassionate way. I can't remember if it was with you or somebody else on the show, but we talked about... No, I think it was David Tizard, our Monday mm-hmm. guest. We talked about this drama and it brought up the issue of like teen pregnancy mm. and also having a baby, you know, when you're still in school and stuff mm-hmm. like that, which was really kind of forward thinking for a Korean drama at mm-hmm. the same time. But right. the cast is stellar, right? Those characters were Lee byung on and Shin min Right, and there were like Lee byung on Shin min and lots of many other, other big uh, people. Is one of my favorite Kim actors. Kim Ubin, yeah. Han Ji-min, Go Do-shim, everyone. Marilyn saying, I was so happy to see Kim Ubin back on the screen. Mm-hmm. I think he's been out of action with a really serious illness, and that's great. Sherry says, I love this show so much. Such a great set of stories about just regular people, real life, struggling and to overcome it with friends and family in the small town. And yeah, our role play was just a quick snapshot, right? My character, I think, is a Jejuite, right? And Shin Min-ho, right. like you said, got divorced and then come into church to kind of build a house. Yeah, while I was watching the scene, I was kind of disappointed that Lee Byung-un was not, not um, really sit- talking in Jeju oh, accent because he's supposed to be a Jejuite, but he didn't seem like one. I didn't notice that. I wasn't looking out for that, but I'm guessing, yeah, with the dialect and mm-hmm. stuff, he should have sounded different. Mm-hmm. Come on, Mr. Lee. You Come can on, do Mr. Better. Lee. He's a Hollywood star, after all. If it was a Hollywood thing, you could have been more. You would have been more realistic about this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he didn't take it seriously. No, we love him. He's a great actor. Um, there is a very diverse cast in this as well, from child actors and and people differently abled as well. We should say. Uh, we've got to play some clips though and teach you some of the Korean here. Was there a dialect in any of our three sentences? Actually, um, not in our scene, okay. but yeah, in in other scenes there are. Jeju dialects coming up. One time we should maybe do some Jeju dialect because it's such a popular yeah, destination. Yeah, and I'm a professional at it. There you go. Uh, first up today, I think Benny has sent in his clip from the Philippines. Let's this go, is Benny. sentence one. Let's take it away. Mm-hmm. One more time from the very top here. Good job, Benny. Yeah, That's really nice. Good pronunciation. Just get it a bit more all together, just like Sohyun did then, and you'll be perfect. What should we look at first in this sentence? Yeah, let's start with 미안한데. Okay, this is a, a very common phrase, perhaps, to use. Right, so it's basically, I'm sorry, but... Okay, good. I'm sorry, but... And if you think of other languages, including English, when uh-huh. you request something mm-hmm. or you're trying to explain something, right. that's a common way to begin, isn't that's it? That's true. 미안한데. It doesn't end with I'm sorry, but okay. there is but. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> You've got to say something afterwards, right? You can't just uh-huh. leave it there, right? Right. 미안한데, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. Next up in that sentence... Sentence then. Should we look at chakku? Mm-hmm. Chakku means continuously or keep getting some way. Repeatedly, mm-hmm. continuously, again and again. I think it's in the song from IOI, Nomu Nomu Nomu. It talks about chakku, chakku, chakku. Yes. And that just means again and again and again, repeatedly. So, sorry, but something repeatedly. We can look mm-hmm. at the na here, I suppose, as well. Right. I am getting something repeatedly. And then the key to this sentence, 예민하다 turned to 예민해져. Right, and 예민하다 means 
uh, to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily have a negative connotation. You can say I'm sensitive to sounds or, you know, like, 청각이 되게 예민해 means my hearing is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So that is not negative, no. right? But in this case, like, I am getting 예민해져, then it means I'm getting, you know, like, touchy and sensitive and don't bother me, don't get out of my way. Yeah, in don't a, get in in a my way. generally negative way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so 예민해져, and something 뭐뭐해져 is mean you're getting that way, right? Right. Okie dokie. So, sorry, but I keep getting touchy or keep getting sensitive. Here is Sherry, so let's see how you've done with your clips here. Nice. So, like, as Peter said, he's mm. not very used to this. I'm no. also not used to this. Like, I'm used to saying, 한 다리 걸러 두 다리 걸르면 다 아는 사이야. Like, ah. using 다리 instead of 치. Is I'm that more the used more standard? That. Yeah, like I've heard it that way and mm -hmm. I use it that way too, meaning like one leg and two legs across and we'll know everyone. Uh -huh. So in this case, it's talking about chi. Do we know what chi means then? Chi is like a measurement uh, that we used to use in older days, but we oh. don't anymore because we use centimeters and millimeters and meters now. Uh, it's an old unit of measurement. It is, and uh, this old old unit of measurement, one chi would be approximately like three centimeters. Oh, that's interesting, because one pyong is about 3.3 .3 square meters. I wonder if there was like a factor of three that we used to maybe. increase things by, or yeah. if that's just coincidence. Uh, is that linked to maybe chisu? Yes, it is, Chisu's, actually. Is, is what, again, is a measurement? Is it of the waist or... Chisu, we use it for everything. Like, oh, Chisu and Teda, like, oh. like a size, the size, oh. or measurements. Okie dokie. We still use that word, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't use the measurement of Chi. Yeah, like, because it all, all got kind of modernized and... Yeah. Actually, mostly westernized. So. Sure, we use the metric system. Even in places like the UK, we had to switch over from imperial measurements to mm -hmm. the metric. Although, in Korea, the interesting thing is we still use Pyong a lot, like for house sizes, right? Yeah, definitely. We don't use uh, meter size for Pyong. Music Ooh. that you want to dance to. Oh, yeah. Arirang. Arirang. Arirang Radio. So the han chi tu chi, I guess we, we explained the chi, but the rest of this sentence, han and tu is quite simple. Mm -hmm. You what, can change this measurements. Like, uh, I think one of our listeners YJ. even commented, YJ said, isn't it han jip tu jip? You can say han jip kolo tu jip koremyon ta anun sa So one house, two houses. Right. So basically, you can uh, put any measurements, not any measurements, but uh, measurements that represent those what things. What did you think it was again? Tari? Tari, yeah, Tari? like one leg. One leg or, or one, one bridge. bridge. Both of those. And then what does kollo mean? Kollo is to like, how do I translate this in like English? Like going from one to another, uh -huh. like stopping by uh -huh. or going through. Right. Uh -huh. You get the mental imagery, right? You're skipping from one of these to another of these. It could be bridges or houses or in this mm -hmm. case, cheese. And then, han chi kolo tu chi mian. So if you stop by one chi and then if you embrace du chis, du chis, <laughs> to du the second chi, <laughs> then to the second chi, then everyone knows each other. Ta anen saia. Mm -hmm. So ta meaning all anen from alda. Alda and sai means like between but like 우리는 이런 사이야 then it would mean like this is our relationship yeah that's a really cool word I think literally mm -hmm. meaning between uh -huh. and then the between people being a relationship right, right? where that's high mm -hmm. that's our relationship 다 아는 사이 meaning everyone knows each other uh, let's get to Hartley from the US here with I believe sentence four if you've done it so, in the right order uh, one more time from the very top yeah I got Ah, yeah. oh, part, I think he kind of pronounced it differently. Yeah, kind of got all squished together like mm. Pion Mare. Oh, I see. But Ponina? 
Right. It's interesting. It sounded like a pion. Right. But be careful, guys, because pion <laughs> is another way of saying poop. It is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, so, 몇 pion이나 말해 <laughs> would literally mean how many poop do I have to tell you? How many poops do I have to say? <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? I think it's because of the m y o t sound, right? Yep. You're Right. Pronouncing the ya there, mm-hmm. but then it needs to go to an a ah sound, m y o t b o n So let's go with m y o t b o n because it means something. So m y o t b o n i n a m a r e is like, if you literally translate it, it would be like, how many times am I saying this? But mm. in English, even, how many times do I have to say this to you? Exactly. You're not literally asking count mm-hmm. how many times. Right. You're just frustrated, right? Oh, like, maybe then you have to. F- Be, oh, one, two, one, three, two, maybe three times? There you go. <laughs> and then the other person would get even more annoyed. Shimina would explode, <laughs> wouldn't she? Uh, so that's what we're saying. That's a good thing to learn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mebbon. Mebbon. Because you can use it when you're asking to really count something. Right. right? So usually the right pronunciation is m e o b o n But as Peter said, m e b o n that's kind of like how, uh, um, I don't know. It's like, commonly pronounced, right? Mm, Or mispronounced. Mispronounced. <laughs> mis- commonly mispronounced. Pronounced. Okie dokie. It should be. Myot bon. Myot, myot bon. Mm-hmm. Myot bon. Because it's myot. a yaw, isn't right. it? The vowel sound there. Myot bon. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is tricky, isn't it? And ina here is kind of emphasizing like it's a lot, right? Yeah, like I don't need to say this much. Kind yeah, of thing. this is too many times. And let's look at the rest of the sentence then. Nega is quite simple. Nega means I and aka puto. So aka is. sometimes before mm-hmm. and puto is from so from sometime before 몇 번이나 말해 so from like later I have been telling you quite many times well how many times do I have to tell you keep yeah. telling me. and 말해 from 말하다 to mean to literally say something mm-hmm. right so how many times from before have I had to say something and I think she's talking about you know leaving to get on the boat quickly and I don't want to ride on a horse I've told you many times right it has a very d a z z i n g in this <laughs> phrase got to sound annoyed uh, I didn't explain that I forgot right in the role play I just said this in Korean I talked about the 괜당 <laughs> culture I was mm. like to Mina, Shin Mina's character. Do you know this uh, Kwendang culture from uh, Jeju? What is Kwendang culture? Right. So, um, Lee Byung Hun was saying, Ah, oh, you don't know about Kwendang culture? This phrase is basically explaining the Kwendang culture. Ah. So, since Jeju is a small island, um, and you know, like after you. Um, Like your one relative and other one relatives, they might like get married and they might be relatives. So like, so it's basically saying all of us are cousins and like oh, family kind of thing. Interesting. And that's called Kwendang mm-hmm. Munhwa, mm-hmm. Kwendang culture. So that's what he's asking her about. Like, don't you know this? And that's why the ranch they're on is one of his friends. Basically saying, I know everyone. Yeah. You know? And actually that is true. Like even with my my uh, parents as well, uh-huh. like uh, one time we were in a taxi and then like he happened to know my mom's dad. And oh, like, just randomly. Right. Oh, fantastic. If you're like from Jeju, a Jeju local, then it's likely that if you trace your family, someone will know someone, mm-hmm. right? Uh, good stuff. James Carroll saying, all I know is I just learned how to say poop in Korean. Well, that's the whole point of today's <laughs> yeah, lesson. Yeah, pyeon is a classic <laughs> way of saying poop in Korean, so please remember that. And that, that's quite a formal way of saying it, isn't it? That is it, right? true, and it's funny because actually there is a last name called Pyon in Korea as well. There is. I'm guessing children tease each other <laughs> if that's the case at school. Though they shouldn't, of course. <laughs> And what was the reason, or oh, sorry, the thing that Lee byung n s character wanted Mina to do before they could leave and see the boat? Give a character a horse? The answer was to take a photo. Actually, it was actually a video from the scene, but mm-hmm. they take a video of him riding a horse. Absolutely. Good stuff. Uh, we will see you again next Tuesday for our singing session. Oh my God! Hooray! Already! Yay! <laughs> Have a good week. You can listen to Welcome to Korea with Korean o n n i on Arirang Radio's Hashtag Daily K every Tuesday from 10am KST.